adverbs Okay. At the end of the lesson, you will be able to use the adverbs correctly when talking about abilities and create sentence using adverbs. Okay, so before we move to our new lesson today, I would like to review the lesson from last week. So last week, uh, we learned about adverb a little bit, but not too much like today. So we would like to review some sentences from last week so that you can have an idea about our today's lesson. Number one, I can speak Spanish fluently. Okay, so this is the ability or someone can speak Spanish fluently, which means that they can speak very fast or with the grammarly correct, something like that. And... Number two, I can speak German a little bit, which means that he or she or I uh, cannot speak German fluently. Okay. Number three, my friends can play the guitar really well. Okay. Number four, I can dance very well. Number five, I can write quite well. Number six, I can cook at all. Okay, so you cannot cook you don't know how to cook so we can say i can cook at all okay so all of these words fluently a little bit really well very well quite well not all are the adverbs okay so let's look at the new lesson so we're going to understand about the uses of adverbs so what is adverb adverb is a word that modifies or describes the verbs an adjective another adverb or even the whole sentence and today we only focus on the adverbs that gives more information about verbs okay and Attitudes only. Okay. So today we're going to focus on the adverbs that modifies or describe a verb and adjectives. Okay, for example, here, adverb that gives more information about verbs. For example, go fast, draw well, sing beautifully. So sing beautifully here in Khmer means so the word beautiful means uh, and when it changed to um, uh, adverb okay uh, we say beautifully but the meaning in Khmer uh, it means that uh, okay let's move on Okay, so now look at the uses of adverb. So, like I mentioned, we only focus on the adverb that modify verbs and adjectives. So, here are the uh, word order when you reuse a sentence uh, and you want to modify the verbs. Okay, so you speak English well. Okay, so you have to know which word come first, which word come next, and which word come last. Okay, like in the example here, you speak English well. Okay, Okay. Not, mình mẹ nhưng tôi sẽ bạn như thế nào. You speak well English. Okay. Nó bắt đầu nhưng tôi sẽ bạn như which con, how we mình mẹ chỉ word order đại trầm trầu. Okay. So do not write like this or do not say like this. Okay. 
All right, another example. He drives his car fast. Okay, he drives his car fast. Not he drives fast his car. Okay, so do not write like this or uh, say like this. Okay. So this is the correct word order of the sentence. This is number two. We will focus on the adjective. So we have a regular adverbs that end in ly. Okay, so uh, adverb we have regular and irregular. So for regular adverbs, uh, when we change the adjective to the adverb, okay um we add ly at the end of the word for example fluent fluent is an adjective and when we change it to the adverb we add ly at the end of the word so we pronounce it as fluently okay and beautiful like i mentioned before beautiful is an adjective and the meaning is but when we change it to the uh, adverb, uh, we add ly at the end. So we say beautifully. And usually we use this beautifully with the verb sing. Sing beautifully, which means uh, she sings beautifully. Okay, so the next example slow, slowly, careful, carefully, usual, usually. Okay. And another adverb that is irregular. Okay, so for irregular verb, we see here. Okay. Uh, sorry, so for the irregular adverbs, uh, you can see like this, but we change it from the adjective. So here another example, good is an adjective uh, when we change it to the adverb, uh, it changed to while, fast, still fast, late, still late, early, still early, and hard still. Okay, so right here what you have to do is to remember is to memorize how the changes how the uses of the adverbs okay all right to make you more understand uh you are invited to do a practice here listen to helen complete her sentences with words from the box okay so we have quite similar exercise from last week but it is really different in these sentences okay very well not at all a little bit quite well really well fluently so there are six sentences that you're going to hear from the audio so are you ready if you are ready i will play the record unit 11 exercise 6 1 I can speak French quite well. 2. My parents can speak Russian fluently. 3. I can use a PC really well. 4. I can't use an Apple Mac at all. 5. My sister and I can play tennis quite well. 6. But we can ski really well. Alright, um, so you have listened to the audio. I hope that you got the answer from the listening. Alright, now let's check the answer all together. Okay, so number one, I can speak French quite well. Okay, number two, my parents can speak Russian fluently. Number three, I can use a PC really well. Okay, so PC here. Uh, PC stands for personal computer. Okay, uh, which means computer. Okay. Number four, 
I can't use an Apple Mac at all. Okay, you must check browser. You must add laptop my Apple or you can have a Mac. One band day. I'll check something at all. So you can browse and then you'll be able to get it. Number four, I can't use an Apple Mac at all. Okay. Number five, my um sorry, my sister and I can play tennis quite well. Okay, so I'm sorry everyone, this uh, here is a misspelling, so it should be my, not me, okay? My sister and I can play tennis quite well. Alright, the last one. Six, but we can ski really well, okay? Many times, I play cycling, 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 I play what you have to do is to create five sentences using adverbs below. So last week I give you a choice to choose any adverbs you want. But this week I would like you to create a sentences using this adverb. Okay, first one is carefully, second one is slowly, third one is well. Fourth one is quickly, and the fifth one is early. Thank you so much for watching our video this week. Thank you. See you next week. Bye-bye.